Hello, my name is Olivier, and this is your wine rendezvous. I frequently get a question, which is, Olivier, should we decant our wine? Should we let it breathe? Um, so here, uh, it's a really good question, actually. There's one thing I really want you to understand when it comes to this, is the concept of oxidation. Oxidation, what is this? Um, well, it's something, well, if you take a bottle of wine, as it ages, <coughs> excuse me, even before it's, uh, it's open, the oxygen is going to come in through that cork, huh, which is used because it's, it's porous. So it lets the wine breathe, and the oxygen comes in and it's going to alter, to change the chemical formula of your wine, and so the wine will end up tasting a bit different, evolving, and that's the aging process, which is due to this oxidation process. Okay, so oxidation is an ongoing um, evolution in the, in the life uh, of the wine, whether when you make it, or then when it, or when it's bottled. Um, so voila. Should you let your wine breathe, should you decant it, that also is totally linked closely to this oxidation thing. Uh, why? Simply because when you open a bottle of wine, well, you're going to let the oxygen come in big time. Um, let me show you, oh, maybe just to open a bottle of wine, uh, use your little thing, you put your cork through here, you turn around, up, you remove that little thing, up, you happy, take your little screw thing, screw it down, little screw action, boom, 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 up, you leverage once, twice, and there you have it, it's gone. Okay, alors, if you let your wine breathe, and that means you open it a bit before you drink it, uh, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to have this much wine in contact with the air, uh, so your wine is going to, to be oxidized. What's the consequence of oxidation? Consequence number one is that your wine is going to, to breathe. Therefore, uh, the aroma is going to be revealed much more, okay? so your aromas will be much more generous, more open, so your wine will give really its full potential. That's the first consequence, the aroma. Second consequence, the texture. Okay, the texture is going to evolve towards something much more silky, more velvety, as tannins are going to melt under the action of the oxygen. Okay, so you can leave it like this for two hours before you drink it. It will do it much good in most cases. Then there's another option, uh, which is decanting. Okay, should you decant your wine? What is decanting? So here, I brought a little decanter, which has this shape of a duck, it's called a duck decanter. Um, the idea of decanting is that instead of having this, this much wine in contact with the air, you're going to have all this much. Okay, so the, the consequence and the effects of this oxidation are just going to be maximized. I'll show you quickly how to decant. You just take your bottle and you pour it very gently in your decanter. As you pour it, the wine is heavily oxidized, big, 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 big time, and then it will sit in your decanter, okay, boom, that will do. It will sit in your decanter, and here you can cl clearly visualize that between this and this, of course, here you get much more oxidation, okay, so this amplification of the aromas and this softening of the texture are going to happen much, much more within a decanter. So decanter, you can decant both whites and reds, no problem. Of course, the tannins effect will be more striking with the reds than with the whites, uh, but it's clearly something you can do. Voila. In short, decanting, letting your wine breeze will do much good to most wines, with the exception maybe of really bad wines, and it might be a bit too much oxidation. And the second example, counter example, would be very old ones, for which such excessive, well, such huge oxidation might be, might be excessive, it might be just too much, uh, it might not take, might not have the, the shoulders to, to hold uh, that much oxidation. Uh, voila. But in most cases, decanting is good. That was Olivier, and I look forward to seeing you shortly on winerendezvous.com. Au revoir.